Star Class streetcar takeover. Here we go. Yourself getting that out. I bet it's freaking oven mitts. Alright, so <laughs> we're in the lanes here. Streetcar takeover. We got Mr. Aaron Silverback. He's uh, getting ready to make a pass, and so are we. And I talked about maybe doing a little pass together. So we're going to change it up though. Slower car wins. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Because that's what we're trying to <laughs> I mean, I can let out. <laughs> we can play this game. <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to try to shoot for the slower class, but the problem is we figured there'd be more cars here than there actually is. So. Only 17. And then with the issue with the number one guy out here uh, being on the tip a little too long for a grudge race earlier, anything could happen. So. I'm not exactly sure what to do other than just stick my foot in it and see what, let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> Slow car wins. I do. I didn't miss it. I, I'm on the air shifter. Right. What the? What did I do? I, I tried to fix that and it didn't work. What? Oh my god. So he went back to the air shifter, which I did not recommend at uh, all. We gotta, can you look at the throttle real quick? It's, it's yes. stuck high. It's stuck. What happened? We might have to adjust it down or did, is everything good out there? You got squirrely. It, it blew the tires off, but then it didn't shift. It's good? It's just at the beginning. See? But, uh, What's high, like 1300? No, like 2300. I don't know. So I don't know if this turned or if the throttle blade is just something else. Good problem, bro. So obviously the air shifter, all that effort we put into the air shifter to try to make it work, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't ship for me. It didn't do nothing. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. For now, all, all I can do is just manually shift it the rest of the night. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, we ran a 9.6, which is a lot slower than we were planning on running at like 155. Um, I think that would have been an 8.6 run had I done everything great, but it didn't work out that way. Small issues that we fix right now. So we're going to go to the first elimination find out where the brake is, find out how how much how slow we have to dial it down basically to compete in this class because we're we're stuck in the B we're stuck in the B class. So that's it. We got John over here. 
and Drake. <laughs> okay, so the situation we found ourselves in is trying to figure out how to dial in the car for a nine second pass. That's the breakout. Eight, nine is what the fastest guy in my class ran. So I gotta run a 9 and I don't know how to do that. Luckily, I do have a nine second tuner, so <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it didn't work out. Uh, we're, we're just shooting in the dark. I'm gonna play the other guy next to me. Just try to stay ahead. I got four on a scramble just in case. But I don't, I don't know what it's gonna run. We'll just have to play the other guy and see. Stay ahead of him. Get that data. Once we have that data, then we can adjust and try to dial it in a little better for the round after that. So that's it. Today was just one of those days, man. It's just not a, it's a very awkward day. That last pass right there, I was primed to run. I had dialed the car down to where I think it would have ran either 9.0, 9.1, or 8.9, somewhere in that area. And it looked like it at, at first. Launched straight, left early. I was ahead of the guy until about the eighth mile. Ran a 5.8 still in the eighth mile. And that's when things got interesting again. And the funny thing is that the guy before me had done the exact same thing. He got loose in the big end right at that same spot. They checked it. They said they didn't see nothing. I went down perfect through the eighth and then hit that same spot and the car got squirrely. I had to abort as I did that. The guy next to me drove out of my life and got the win. He ran like a 9-1, so it would have been very close. Uh, I would have probably broke out or gotten really, really close to that 9-0, so what can I do? That's that's part of it. That's part of racing, I guess. Um, it sucks. I felt like we had a good shot, but I don't know. Either way, we did have fun. Uh, Father's Day weekend over here, streetcar takeover in Ennis, Texas. It was a blast. We did have fun seeing all my friends, hanging out with my wife, everybody. Uh, everybody showed support. I had a, uh, man, I forgot his name, but, uh, little man, if you're watching this, it was great meeting you today. Uh, big shout out to you. Thanks for coming up. You made my day. Uh, sorry I couldn't get the win for you today. Keep watching. We're going to go to more events. We're going to keep racing and we're going to find a win sometime this year. That's it for now. I'm going to put this car in this trailer, take it home and get some rest. No working. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> it wasn't that loose. No. What? Yeah, it was. Oh, it does. It didn't feel that loose. I'm okay, used to it by now. You're standing on the back end. You see it. <laughs> Wiggly? Yeah. Just a wiggle. <laughs>